Let's write a function that checks if a given string is a valid email address. Sure. Here it is. Uh, without a regex, please. All right. Create a function that takes an argument, email, or email address, or string. Using index of, find the position of at the rate sign or at the rate symbol in the email string. Find the position of the last period or dot symbol in the email string. This ensures that we are looking for the dot or period in the domain extension. These are check conditions. The at the rate symbol must not be the first character. It must be at an index greater than zero. The dot or period symbol must come at least two characters after the at the rate symbol to allow for a domain name between the at the rate and dot or period. The dot symbol must not be the last character in the email string to ensure there is a domain extension after dot or period. At the end, return true. If any of these conditions are met, return false. Otherwise, return true, indicating that the email is not. In case of true, Provided email is a valid email address. Let's give it a go. So this is not a valid email address. So here we see false. This is not a valid email address. So we see false here. And it can be a valid email address, potentially. So we see true here. So here for the valid email, this function is uh, returning true. This is how we do it without using a regex expression. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.